Blackburn go down in our history as our independence day. Hi guys, welcome to Playing the News. Last week a group of professional and hobby divers finished a nine-day expedition in which they managed to recover 2,000 kilos of old fishing nets from the bottom of the North Sea. Ghost fishing is what happens when fishing gear gets dumped, lost or abandoned and too many animals get trapped this way and starve a slow death. The Dutch initiative Dive the North Sea Clean tries to reduce the amount of ghost fishing. During their quest below sea level they clean up, they collect data on marine life and rescue trapped animals as well as combining it all with their hobby diving. Most notable during this year's expedition was the sighting of an elegant sea slug with its Dutch name Goudstipje. This week I am playing a game that takes you on an aquatic adventure, where a steady hand and an eye for detail will help you win. This week I am playing Doodle Quest. In Doodle Quest, players flip over a quest card, study it and then start drawing on their own transparent sheet. When everyone is done drawing, you put the transparent sheet on top of the quest card and you add up the points. The game has got several different quest cards, they're all very cheerful and it is a great gateway game. The same designers who made Doodle Quest also made another game called Looney Quest and the expansion to Looney Quest has got a underwater theme as well. Both are very fun and both are worth checking out. I suggest Doodle Quest for a beginner group and Looney Quest with its computer game like feel for a more experienced group. Let me know in the comments which aquatic theme uh, game I should have chosen this week and if you want to know more about preserving marine life check out Duik de Noordzee Schoon or ghostfishing.org. Thanks for watching.